I think these time loops are starting to get to me because, ugh, I really need to find a way to break this cycle and also somehow maybe save my people. But I'm not going to be able to make any progress just standing here, so back up into the great unknown. Alright, so let's see. From what past future me did and accomplished, uh, let's go to the computer. All right, let's see. We discovered the escape pod. We went to the city that was inside the Ember Twin. Learned some stuff about the Sun Station and the Ash Twin project. Still haven't been able to discover what the project is either way. Either way. Plus, we discovered some of the towers that were on the Ash Twin. And we still haven't been able to figure out what that Sun Station is. But me thinks I should probably go back to the, the Sunless City. We learned how to get past those anglerfish and the bramble. Apparently, they have little to no eyesight, but are very good at hearing, which makes sense since apparently the second I threw all my thrusters inside there, they were pretty much on me within milliseconds. All right, so... Ooh, there are the twins. Set trajectory, and there we go. Alright, so, let's see. Oh, oh. Really need to work on the gravity crystal. Oh, ow. Oh. Uh, need to get to computer. There we go. Alright, so... We also learned something about uh, a high energy lab on the Ember Twin as well, but we couldn't get inside, and the pathway we had to follow was blocked by ghost matter. It had like one of like a running cord out to one of the things on the twins, so maybe if I can discover that, I should be able to find a way into the lab because it looked like there was an alternate way in there. For now, let's just land right back on the surface. Easy. We'll just park right next to the escape pod and just follow the path down inside the caves. Another thing I need to discover alongside the higher energy lab is the giant gravity cannon that was placed onto this planet. Hopefully I can get there in time and it's not completely covered in sand, although knowing my luck, that's not going to be the case. Alright, uh, which one what, was it? This one? Over the cavern at the end of the passage, I believe there's a construct shelter there. Wise choice, mark the locations. Alright, so this is the way. Man, I feel bad for the, the Nomai explorers that landed on this planet the first time around and how they had to basically navigate in the dark inside this really, really, really dangerous cave. Hopefully they didn't lose anyone the first time around. Alright, I think it was go left here and that and there's the hole. There, uh, there it is. And up through here, let's get a reading. Across the chasm, what's on the far side, look for a tunnel hidden behind falling sand. Alright, easy enough.
that sometime. Uh, uh, at the body. Alright, well, there's the wire that I was in earlier, so... Best chance right now is to fall away while the sand is at a really low level. To the high energy lab. observation post or something? Mm, it's kind of look like uh, the black hole at the Brittle Hollow and the, the White Hole Station. What exactly is this place? Records show Nomai at arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow is slightly before departing the White Hole Station. Remy and I are devising an experiment to test if this real phenomenon or a simple machine error. In theory, we want to try to reproduce its negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis? It is possible for an object to exit the white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Oh. It was just uh, the sand pillar. Okay. What about this? An update. Our experiment has reproduced the anomaly on arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced and is more than an equipment error. I hope this strengthens the effect of the render and render it visible to the unaid unaided eyes. To that amount, we designed to tr or we decided to try something adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should provide sufficient. 
Of note, Raimi, Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiments. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raimi and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pine saw it. Hypothesis, hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. The change is everything. What a beautiful day for intersection and absent theory on particle application. Huh, so interesting. So give it more power, the I guess the holes get stronger and it takes a little bit longer for something to go in one hole and come out the other. The Southern Observatory is asking if we, creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between the departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Uh, Probably, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis, creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate that necessary energy. Freeman, I believe that it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology available to, ha to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended. Remy, so I believe it is you who is air form. Hmm. Maybe this is why I'm able to go back like 22 minutes and remember everything up to this point. It has to do with this energy interval. Hmm. Interesting. Cyclone looking tower. That kind of looks like the, the Haines city back in Brutal Hollow. Don't know what this one would be. I'm guessing maybe like mountains. And this is definitely the twins. And the sun? Did it have a, a warp station on the sun or something? That'd be impressive. The Ashwin Project will be our biggest undertaking, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between the twin and each location that holds a crucial project material. What if we use warp towers, like the one we have on the White Hole Station, to connect the Ash Twin directly to each of the critical location? Poke, Root, and I can begin the work on this immediately at the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Of note, each tower in Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude for those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this is sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect the warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. We could model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. Oh, so that's what it is. All right, that makes sense that it's a geyser mountain. And it kind of looks like a, a geyser bubbling up ready to shoot out right there. So then this has to be Brittle Hollow. That's Giant Steve. It kind of makes sense that the thing right there also kind of looks like a, the top of a cyclone. These are the two t twins connected, but what about the sun one? Hmm. Well, either way, I'm not going to figure out anything. Just staying inside here. If anything, I would like to try and figure out where that... See, there's Shirt's camp. Where is the giant gravity cannon? Because hopefully it's not completely filled up with sand and I can discover what kind of probe they shot out in the space and it can give me maybe some information on the whole, what, what was it? The quantum moon, that was it. Right around here somewhere. 
which is good. It means I can uh, figure out uh, where that gravity cannon is a hell of a lot faster now. Also, probably should refuel. Oh dear. And land. Ooh. I'm surprised I've had like with all the jumping I've been doing out here. All right. I would also like to try out that experiment for myself and see if it actually works. But for now, let me see. Where would that cannon be? Gotta be around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Kind of hard to miss this giant protruding thing coming out of the planet. Hey, there's a quantum moon. One day I'll visit that thing. I just need to figure out how. Because I think one of the readings said that once they tried to go through it, it just went literally right through the, the entire moon. All right. uh, there it is. Always able to tell where this uh, energy lab is by the giant... I'm guessing maybe... Solar panel? Energy collector? I don't know what this thing is. Hmm. Alright, so they said to use a black hole and a white hole. I wonder what happens if I use two black hole cores. Nothing happens. I guess it makes sense. Alright, uh, we'll put that right there. Let's try a white hole. 
Oh wow, it does work. M miniature teleportation. They said to give it more energy, and apparently it takes even longer for things to go through. Let's reroute the energy then. Back to the experiments. Yeah, almost for like a, a second or two, there's almost like two probes there. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder. I wonder if I can double, maybe triple, maybe quadruple my probe count. That way there would be no surface I couldn't be able to discover and keep multiple eyes on things. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Three, two, one, launch. And nope. Aha! It worked! Wait, what's going on? No. No! No! What have I done? So my tip for today.